Hi, I'm Paul Drew. I'm a producer, songwriter, mix engineer from the UK. This video is for Pro Tools users who are new to Revoice Pro. I'm going to show you in the three sections of this video how to get the Pro Tools audio you want to process quickly into Revoice Pro, how Revoice Pro can quickly tune, tighten and create double tracks, and lastly, how to get the audio processed in Revoice Pro back to Pro Tools. If you have an HD hardware system, please read the manual to see how to set up a monitor plugin to hear the audio from Revoice Pro. I'm going to start the Revoice Pro standalone program. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to change the size of the screen here so both Revoice Pro and Pro Tools can fit to the same screen. Now, if we open the settings in Revoice Pro, if I click View, Settings and go to Pro Tools and click Setup and Session. We need to match the same settings in Pro Tools to Revoice Pro. It's important to match these settings as when we copy the audio between the two programs, the audio copies to the correct bar and beat. So as you can see in Pro Tools, we're working from 24 frames per second. So we need to make sure that our frame rate here in Revoice Pro is set to 24 frames. Our session start in Pro Tools is 0, 0. So we're going to change our Simpty time here to 0. And as we're working at 100 BPM, I'm just going to change this here to 100 beats per minute. We simply then just close the windows and we're all set up. If we want to keep these settings as a default session, we go to File and Save as Default Session. So let's hear the tracks we're going to be working with in Pro Tools. As you will hear, the lead vocal has a tuning issue, and also the doubles in leads two and three have timing and tuning issues. So let's solo them all and listen again. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So twisted and broken, lost in the storm. So first of all, what I want to do is to get the audio into Revoice Pro. As I'm using bars and beats in Pro Tools, I'm just going to change the setting here to bars and beats. To transfer the tracks in Pro Tools to Revoice Pro, I choose Audio Suite, then Other, then Revoice Pro Link. I simply highlight the area that I need, and I'm going to copy this to Audio 1. Push Capture. I go down to the next track, Highlight the part that I want, go to Audio 2, push Capture. The next track, my lead box 3, go to Audio 3, push Capture. Now all the files are transferred over to Revoice Pro. In this section, we'll show you how quickly Revoice Pro can process the time and pitch of the audio and create corrected versions of the lead voice, but also a new stereo double track of the harmony. First of all, I'm going to fix the pitch issue on the lead vox. If I right click here and make walk region, and I'm going to push this button to zoom in. If I push the T key, I can zoom into the track. I'm going to select a part of the audio file here and push the Y key to select a playback range. My heart is an ocean, nothing. My heart is an ocean. So there's the problem. I'm going to move this note here up a semitone. And let's hear that back again. My heart is an ocean, nothing. I'm going to push this button again to return back to the multi track screen. Now I'm going to make the audio in both audio two and three match the timing and the pitch in audio one. So, what I need to do now is to create an APT which stands for Audio Performance Transfer Process. To do this, I need to create two output tracks. And I'm going to name these Output 1. And then push Add. Now I'm going to create an APT by pushing the B key. 
and I'm going to select APT. I'm going to change the preset to vocal, slightly loose time and pitch. My guide, which is my lead in audio one, my dub, which is audio two, although we could process these tracks one at a time, we're going to show you that you can process both the double tracks at the same time. So we click here to fix the output track offsets. I make sure the output is on output one. I'm going to create multiple processes as I'm doing two tracks. I'm going to choose two. And now I click new process. I'm just going to remind you how it sounded before we fix the tracks. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So twisted and broken, lost in the storm. I'm now going to play the fixed tracks by pressing the spacebar to render the output and play the guide input and the two output tracks. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So twisted and broken, lost in the storm. So I'm now going to create a stereo harmony from a mono harmony that I have here in Pro Tools. So let's create a new track. I'm going to name this Harm 1. I'm also going to create an output track. I'm going to call this Out 3. Now let's bring the harmony in the same way as I did before. Highlight the part, choose Harm 1 and Capture. I'm going to push the B key again, but this time I'm going to choose Doubler. I'm going to choose a preset, Stereo Vocal, Loose Timing. My input is Harm 1 and my output is Out 3. I now push New Process. So now let's play back the process file. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So twisted and broken, lost in the storm. Just to remind you that this was originally a mono file, so I'm going to play that on its own. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it. Nothing at all. And now let's bring in the stereo file. So twisted and broken, lost in the storm. And now let's bring in the rest of the tracks. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So twisted and broken, lost in the storm. So now what I want to do is to get the tracks back into Pro Tools. So what I'm going to do here is to highlight the section that I want, go back to my file here in Revoice Pro, choose Spot. Highlight my next section of my next vocal, which is this vocal here, choose Spot. Highlight my next track, choose the track I want to spot back, push Spot. Now we're going to leave this as this is the same file here, but I'm going to create a new track in Pro Tools to bring the stereo harmony back. Choose the file that I want, highlight an area and push spot. So let's hear the tracks in Pro Tools processed by Revoice Pro. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save. If you want a super fast way of processing, you can use the quick APT and quick doubler, and that will be explained in another video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.